Latifa. Can you tell me a little bit about your role here at Empower and about the National Instructor Institute and kind of the purpose of the program as well? Okay, currently I'm employed as a technical teacher's assistant. So my role here is basically to assist the instructor in any way possible. So for the National Training Institute, it not just focuses on employing TAs, employing instructor, but the main focus is ensuring that the individuals that we're employing are fully qualified when they go out to teach the students. So if you're going out to teach them, do you have all the necessary tools? Are you fully equipped? Do you know exactly how you're delivering the message? Mm -hmm. So the whole purpose is to ensure that whoever is going out there, ensure that they're fully qualified enough to not just educate these individuals, but mm -hmm. also ensure that they leave qualified and leave certified. Yeah, that's great. And they succeed as well. Yes. That's great. And can you talk a little bit about the 40 by 22 initiative um, in partnership with the City Foundation okay. and how it relates to the National Instructor Institute? So for the 40 by 22, it's basically to not just have enough females within the classroom and not just make the classroom more tech friendly for females, but it also focuses on having female instructors and female role models within the program so that they have someone there that they can look up to, to see and to even motivate them to keep pushing through to the end of the program. Yeah, that's great. And can you kind of talk a little bit about your, um, I guess your journey, your tech journey okay. through um, Empower and kind of your experience here? So I found out about Empower through an out of school youth program that I was attending seeking employment. So I came to Empower on a side visit that we had, came through the program, did all the tech fundamentals, started my internship at a middle school, not so far from here as well. Mm -hmm. um, and it was going to my middle school, going to my middle school for my internship, realizing the impact that the program had for me and learning so much that I realized, okay, if this made such an impact on me, why not come back and offer my time, pay it forward mm -hmm. and make that. an impact on another female like myself? and students like myself. So that is how I decided to come back and currently I am the TA here. I love that, it's like a full circle. <laughs> and why do you think that we need more female um, technical instructors? Okay, so for me personally, coming through the program, I had a female instructor. So in mm -hmm. seeing someone like myself at the front there, it was more of an encouragement and motivation for me. It helped me to know that if she was there and she could have done it, I can do the same. Yep. So it helped me to push forward, get through the program, remain motivated through the program and to keep doing it because I knew that my only limitation was myself mm -hmm. and if she could have done it, I could have done too. Yeah, and how many girls were in your class? You said like three? We had like three girls. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> so funny. Well, that's why that was great to have yeah. that female, female reinforcement. Point. What advice would you give so for any young women of color that are kind of looking to maybe um, join or to have a tech career? What advice would you give them? I will say stop limiting yourself. I feel like our only limitations to life is ourselves. Mm -hmm. So I would say stop limiting yourself. I think one of my favorite quotes is, mistakes are only detours, not mm -hmm. dead end. It helps us to know that even if we fall back, we make mistakes, we make and we shark come. That our only limitations is ourselves, and mm -hmm. that we can always get up and move past that point. So I would say know your why, prioritize, remain focused, know what is your goal at the end, join the program, stop limiting yourself and keep at it. I love that. And uh, while you're giving advice, I would say, what advice do you have for tech companies or for just the tech industry as a whole? Mm -hmm. I would say, give the females a try. I mm -hmm. feel like even as a black person or a black female, when I went on a lot of interviews for internships, I was probably turned down, if not because of my skin color, but because I'm a female. So I would say, give the females a try. We have so much to offer, and the only way you know what we have to bring to the table or offer is if you give us a chance and yeah. give us that internship. Yeah. So I would say, give us a try. And even as an individual, it helped me to realize that it was not because of me, because I knew exactly what I had to bring to the table, yeah. but them not giving me that chance because only they're losing out yeah. and having a great individual like me on the team. I love that, it was their loss. Yes. Well, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs>